not Hollywood, but the Civic Center in downtown Atlanta. Home of Family Feud. Let's play feud, everybody. When Give Steve Harvey feud. took over as host in 2010, he brought the show to Atlanta. And brought new life to the stage. But for all the laughs you see on TV... People don't really understand that there's all this stuff that goes on behind scenes. You guys don't mind scooting down just a bit so I can add some more seats for them on the end, okay? We caught up with audience members backstage. We come to see Steve Harvey and the Family Feud. We watch him every day we can. Everyone's in a good mood. Everyone's excited. It's good energy. Good experience. I love watching it on TV, so... It's nothing like being live and in person. I'm excited to see that angle of it, you know, kind of take, make the show more real. Yeah, um, and the big scoreboard thing. I uh -huh. wonder how big that is in real life, you know. Woo <laughs> woo. They're jamming, having a good time. So here we are in the set of Family Feud. You might be surprised to know how busy it is around here. They tape five shows a day, 180 shows a year. And we found out it's very tough to stay on schedule because every taping turns into a hilarious stand-up routine. Name something a man puts on that he thinks drives women wild. For the man who made it big in stand-up comedy. Boxers! <laughs> and as funny as it is, you can see how editing the show is a big job for producers. I don't edit anything. I'd like to run the show just the way it was, but we wouldn't be on TV that long. So the version you see at home is actually the cleaned up, slightly toned down version. Hard to believe, right? <laughs> on the set of Family Feud in Atlanta, I'm Jennifer Gilbert reporting.